contains approximately 30% of turkey broth, canola oil, salt, sugar, dry vinegar, cultural dextrose, natural flavors, melatonin, soybean oil, and processing aid, as a processing aid. So we're just gonna, we're gonna smoke these. I'm just gonna doctor them up very little since they already have so much on them, in them. So I'm just gonna blot them dry some, get rid of some of the extra moisture. I've had this turkey breast before, but baked in the oven. This is the first time I'm uh, gonna smoke it. So we're just gonna blot off all that extra juice that I can. Try not to leave any paper towel shreds behind. I like Duke's mayonnaise. I'm sure whatever mayonnaise you work will be fine. I'm just gonna coat it real good. I've got extra in here, so I don't have to go back. Mayonnaise is fat, and it creates helps create a nice skin on this. We got the, everything but the, everything bagel seasoning with the jalapeno. Since the turkey is already so well seasoned, I'm just gonna. Sprinkle some extras on top. All right, turn it over. So I'm expecting to get a nice crust on this. I gotta go see the doctor for my appointment. So I'm not gonna start it yet. It gives it about probably four hours before I can cook it. So we're just gonna let that sit and uh, rest for those four hours. All right, we're up to temperature. Turkey's not as warm as I thought. Doctor coming in it early. Yeah. Temperature's up. 165 at the thickest part. So we're going to pull it. Should be rest number one. Should be rest tenderloin number two. You can leave it in the foil for about 15 minutes. Spend this in the house. This is the turkey. All right, a bite of the turkey. Glad I didn't add any salt to it, but it's juicy, it's very good.